Hey everyone, Mr. MCA here. This is a lap guide for round one of the 2024 Nations Cup taking place at Seca de la Sarth. And we're going to be in the Toyota GT1 as this car has the speed to make it the most viable car for this race. We're on the racing medium tires and I have the brake balance all the way through the back of the car so it is a plus five. And I'm going to do these lap guides a bit differently since these uh, rounds do come by pretty quickly. So I'm going to do this rapid fire style where I don't stop the video at all. So this first turn coming up, you're going to take a flat out, but you want to bring yourself towards the right because you're going to brake as soon as this first turn ends. You're going to go down to first gear for more rotation, but exit on second gear, taking advantage of the curves as you're still within track limits. Just being really careful getting back on the throttle to keep this car under control, brake after this path on the right ends. Now you want to slow yourself down just a little bit to set yourself up for the S is right here. For a to raise your braking right as the blue area on the right starts. Getting a slightly early turn in that way you can take advantage of the curves on both sides of the track and you'll be able to get a bit of a faster exit that way. Now shortly after the 200 meter board there are these two track marshals on the left. They're wearing orange clothing so you'll see them for a brief moment of time. You're going to use those two track marshals as your next braking point so you'll see them in a moment right about now break go down to second gear and slow yourself down a bit more to set yourself up for the exit of the first chicane that way once your car is pointing towards this next straight that's where you can get back on the throttle and just try to get a faster exit that way this next chicane coming up is like the first one that we just went through but it's a little bit sharper so you do need to slow down a little bit more and you're gonna break before the 100 meter board so break right here, go down to second gear, again slow yourself down a little bit more compared to the first chicane, get the car pointing towards the next section of the track and get back on the throttle as soon as you can, that way you can get a faster exit that way. Now the end of the Mulsanne straight, this one is a little tricky, you're going to break just after the curb on the right starts and you want to nail down this turn because you can gain a bit of time if you get this turn nailed down, again breaking just after the curb on the right starts. Go down to first gear for more rotation, exit on second gear, get the car pointing towards the next straight as soon as you can because if you can do it quickly and get the car going as soon as you can, there is quite a bit of time to be gained right there. And again, just revving the heck out of this car. Now this part does get a little tricky. For this first right kink, you're going to lift off our throttle and turn in and then you're going to brake when the curve on the right ends, so right here, brake. Go down to first gear for more rotation, exit on second gear, nice and careful getting back on the throttle, then brake before you pass the second Gantt sign that was on the right. Again, down to first gear for more rotation, back up to second gear as you exit the turn and just carefully get back on the throttle to make sure that the car doesn't step out. Now for the Porsche curves, you want to brake as you reach the first Goodyear sign that is on the left. And here you want to go down to fourth gear and just try to maximize your speed as you go through these turns. So you're taking advantage of this car's downforce and you're just trying to carry as much speed through these corners. Letting go of the throttle a bit, a little bit of trail braking as you go through this right turn, this left turn, lift off our throttle, use a little bit of braking if you need to. Just make sure you keep the car within the track limits as there. It's really easy to go off track and pick up a track penalty. Here you're braking before you reach the curb that is on the right. Take advantage of the curves, brake before the curb on the right starts. You can go down to the first gear for more rotation but exit on second gear and just be really careful getting back on the throttle to make sure that the car stays nice and stable. Now I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to show my replay, same lap but it's on bumper cam now. I know some people prefer this perspective over chase cam so let me know what you guys think. I also have the metric units or kilometers per hour towards the right side of the gear number. But anyways, first turn again is flat out and just as that first turn ends, that's where you want to start to break. You can see that I'm taking advantage of the curves as you're still within track limits, but you want to be really careful getting back on the throttle, especially with a car like the GT1 as it loves to step out a lot, especially on corner exits. So you have to be really careful with your throttle input. 
try to make sure that the car stays nice and stable at all times. Tête de Rouge, again, take advantage of the curves as you're still within check limits, but you want to be careful with the curves on the left because it's really easy to go just a little bit wide, poke out of the curves, and then get hit with a penalty. So you want to bring yourself back onto the track as soon as you can, preferably before the curb on the left ends. Just after the 200 meter board, there are these two track marshals on the left. Use them as your next breaking point. Slow yourself down a bit to set yourself up for the exit of the first Molson chicane. So kind of when your car is pointing towards the direction of the next street, that's where you want to uh, get back on the throttle and just try to get your fast exit that way. Stay towards the right side of the track. Your next breaking point is before the 100 meter board. So you're going to look for the 100 meter board, break before you pass it and this is just like the first chicane that we just went through but it is a little sharper so you do need to slow yourself down just a little bit more and again try to prioritize setting yourself up to get the car pointing towards the next section of the track as soon as you can that way you can get a fast exit the end of the mole sand straight you want to be really careful here especially if you're under someone's slipstream so you'll be going a lot faster so you do need to brake a little bit earlier Brake right after the curb on the right starts. Go down to first gear for more rotation, but extend the second gear. Get the car pointing towards the next section of the track as soon as you can. That way, you can get a faster exit. And that corner that we just went through, if you nail that turn down, there is quite a bit of time to be gained right there. And again, with this car, you also want to be careful getting back on the throttle as you don't want to get too much wheel spin, which can put your lap in jeopardy. Little left off our throttle for this turn. Brake when the curb on the right ends. Go down to first gear for more rotation. Back up to second gear as you exit the Indianapolis corner. Uh, look for the second Gantz sign on the right as that is your next braking point for Arnage. Down to first gear for more rotation but exit on second gear. And again, get the car pointing towards the next section of the track and be really careful getting back on the throttle to make sure that the GT1 doesn't step out too much. Uh, for the Porsche curves, look for the first Goodyear sign on the left. That is your next braking point. Go down to fourth gear. And you want to really try to maximize your speed throughout these corners. Uh, take advantage of this car's downforce. Then hug the right side of the track using a little bit of trail braking. A little bit of throttle control for this left turn. A little bit of braking if you need to. Just be careful about stepping out too much out of the curves so you don't get hit with a track penalty brake before the curb on the right starts. You can take advantage of the curves as you're still within track limits. Brake before the curb on the right starts. Go into first gear for more rotation but exit on second gear. Nice and careful getting back on the throttle and that is it for this lap guide. So hopefully this lap guide helps you out in preparation for this race and yeah uh, there's not as much time that I have to make these guides especially with uh, we're taking up a lot of time, so I'm going to try this out at least for the GT World Series uh, race guides and hopefully it works out. So uh, do take care. Good luck in this first round. This is Mr. Mustier and I'll see you in the next video.